Hello friends. Today we will do some pipeline questions. So let's learn what is pipeline. So basically pipeline is the process of accumulating instruction from the processor through a pipeline. It allows storing and executing instructions in an orderly process. It is also known as pipeline processing. Uh, sometimes pipeline is a, a technique where multiple instructions are overlapped during execution. So let's uh, do some questions on this practice problems. So the first practice problem is the stage delay in a four stage pipeline are 800, 500, 400 and 300 picoseconds. The first stage is replaced with a functionally equivalent design involving two stages with respective delay 600 and 350 picoseconds. Find the percentage increase in throughput of the pipeline. Okay, so this is our question. Basically the question is saying we are first we are having four stage pipeline that is having 800 500 400 300 picoseconds of a stage delay then what we have did we have changed this pipeline and converted it to uh, two uh, stage pipeline which is having 603 pic, uh, 50 picoseconds of the stage delay then we need to uh, compare the throughput uh, of the pipeline so first we will calculate the throughput for the four stage pipeline then we will calculate the two stage pipeline throughput and then we will compare it so before starting this uh, question uh, solving this question please like and subscribe my channel if you like this expression uh, explanation please please like and subscribe So first we will calculate the execution time in four stage pipeline. So how to calculate the execution time? First we will calculate the cycle time. So cycle time is maximum delay due to any stage plus delay due to its register. Since our question is not telling anything about the register delay, so we will put here zero. Okay. Uh, this is the formula for the cycle time maximum delay due to any stage. So delay is 800, 500, 400, 300. So maximum delay is 800 so we will take this 800 okay so 800 picosecond because uh, delay due to register is 0 so 800 plus 0 will become 800 picosecond max means max uh, uh, delay uh, throughout the stage okay so max is 800 thus execution time is in four stage pipeline is one clock sign okay so four stage pipeline one clock cycle execution time in four stage pipeline is also called one clock cycle that is 800 picoseconds we have calculated it now we need to calculate the throughput so what is the throughput throughput is uh, one instruction divided by one clock cycle or uh, divided by execution execution time your stage number of stage pipeline so throughput throughput is equals to number of instruction executed per unit time that is equals to one instruction divided by 800 picosecond so this is our throughput so this is the throughput for four stage pipeline now we will calculate for the two stage so execution time in two stage pipeline so as uh, the formula will be same cycle uh, cycle time is equals to maximum delay due to any stage so this is a two stage pipeline and it, this stage is having six, 600 and 350 picosecond of the delay so max value is 600 so we will take 600 same since register delay is not explained to you uh, not given in the question so just put zero so cycle time this will become 600 picoseconds thus execution time in two stage pipeline equals to one clock cycle that is equals to 600 picoseconds okay so we got it now again we will uh, calculate the throughput in two stage pipeline so throughput in two stage pipeline is number of instruction executed per unit time so one instruction divided by 600 picoseconds so 1 by 800 picoseconds is for two stage pipe uh, four stage pipeline and 1 by 600 pico stage for two stage pipeline this is the throughput now we will compare so throughput increase how we will calculate final throughput that is 1 by 600 initial throughput that is 1 by 800 divided by uh, initial throughput so final throughput minus initial throughput divided by initial throughput Mul whole multiplied with 100 so 1 by 600 minus 1 by 800 divided by 1 by 800 you will solve it this will become 800 divided by 600 minus 1 because 800 minus 800 because 1 by 800 it will go upside and uh, uh, 800 divided by 600 and minus 
800 divided by 800 so that's why i have written one here and multiplied with the 100 uh, so 1.33 minus 1 divided by 0.333 so this will be your answer the percentage increase in throughput is 33.33 percentage so i hope you got it so let's move to the next question so the practice problem is uh, this is the second practice problem so a non-pipeline single cycle processor operating at 10 megahertz so remember this is your 10 megahertz frequency is given to you okay is converted into a synchronous pipeline okay synchronous pipeline processor with five stages number of stages is five requiring 2.5 nanosecond 1.5 nanosecond 2 nanosecond 1.5 nanosecond 2.5 nanosecond so this is your delay the delay of the latches is 0.5 it means register delay is also given to you find the speed up of the pipeline processor for a large number of instructions okay so we need to find the speed up of the uh, pipeline okay so let's start doing it so as you already know this is a non pipelined uh, single cycle processor and the frequency is 10 megahertz okay so let's do it so first we will calculate cycle time in non pipeline process so simple your frequency is given to you so 1 by frequency will become your cycle time that is 1 by frequency 100 megahertz so 1 by 100 multi uh, megahertz means multiplied by 10 to the power 6 and this will become 0 0.01 microsecond now next non non pipeline execution time so for non pipeline execution time will be equal to your cycle time okay because it is non pipeline one okay so that's why uh, it is also equal to uh, cycle time non execution time is equals to process in one instruction so process in one instruction so number of clock cycle taken to execute in one section that is one clock cycle so you got it 0 0.01 microsecond you can also write is at 10 microsecond 10 nanosecond because 10 is 10 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 10 to the power minus 9 so it will become 10 nanoseconds so now go because uh, now find the cycle time in pipeline processor okay so cycle time in pipeline processor so as we did in previous question cycle time is in case of pipeline processor is the maximum uh, delay so maximum delay is 2.5 you can take this 2.5 or this you can take this 2.5 any one of these and register delay is also given to you so that is 0 0.5 nano second okay so 2.5 nanosecond plus 0 0.5 nanosecond so this will become 3 nanosecond okay so in pipeline processor and in non pipeline processor both executions execution time is equals to uh, execution time in one instruction is equals to cycle time so pipeline execution execution time is one clock cycle that is three nanosecond which we have already calculated here cycle time in pipeline processor now speed up okay so speed up is equals to non pipeline execution time divided by pipeline execution time so our nine pipeline execution time was 10 nanosecond we have calculated and pipeline execution time was three nanosecond so 10 divided by 3 so the answer will be 3.33 okay so e speed up is 3.33 so non means we when we have converted non pipeline uh, to pipeline uh, pipeline processor so our processor has been speed up by 3.33 okay means its speed becomes almost uh, three and a half times so i hope guys uh, you able to understand these two problems thank you so much uh, please do like subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe it